in glorification of Jayananda Thakur. Srila Jayananda Prabhu joined Srila Prabhupada and the fledgling Hare Krishna movement in San Francisco. Driving a taxi cab, he was encouraged by Srila Prabhupada to keep that job in order to help support the storefront Hare Krishna temple. All day while driving, Jayananda would chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And when he was off work, he would be at the temple cooking or doing any service he could find, or else sit with Prabhupada in his apartment with other devotees. Jayananda was known for serious japa, sitting cross-legged, eyes squeezed tightly shut. Jayananda would hold his strand of beads up in his hands and rock forward almost to the floor and back, chanting intensely, oblivious to the outside world. Jayananda was serious. As one of Prabhupada's early disciples, Jayananda took part in every San Francisco Rathayatra since the very first one back in 1967. And he would take an unusually active part. In fact, his expert engineering of the huge chariots used in San Francisco festivals earned him the nickname Mr. Rathayatra. For each of the first four Rathayatras, Jayananda built the chariots from the ground up. And although in the last few festivals the same vehicles were used each year, still he continued to improve them. Both in San Francisco and in New York, Jayananda would encourage all the people to pull the Rath forward. Then he would run around to the backside and at the same time encourage everyone to pull the ropes backward. In this way, Lord Jagannath's cart would sometimes go forward and sometimes it would stop. For many years, Jayananda Prabhu was the backbone of the San Francisco Festival of the Chariots. He would do everything from asking for donations of food, flowers and money, to advertising, building the chariots, arranging for permits, in organizing the cooking and distribution of prasad. During his last days, he was always planning how to expand Rathiyatra so that more temples could participate. Incapacitated as he was, he still helped design the special carts which are still being used in Los Angeles, which can be disassembled for easy transportation from city to city. In 1977, on May 1st, just four days after his 38th birthday, Prabhupada's very dear disciple Jayananda Das passed away in his quarters at the Los Angeles New Dwarka Temple. For the last few months, his body had been ravaged by leukemia and recently, he had abandoned all attempts at recovery, preparing for the crucial time of death. And he moved to New Dwarka in order to immerse himself in the pure association of Krishna's deity and his devotees. At that time, Prabhupada wrote a letter to all the temples. Jayananda's, Jayananda's death, death is glorious. glorious. It is very good that he has stated what is the use of such a useless body. Better to give it up. He has left his body very wonderfully and he has been transferred to Vaikuntha. And I have already sent a condolence letter for publication in our Back to Godhead magazine. Everyone should follow the example of Jayananda. I am, I am very, very proud, proud that I had, had such, such a, a nice, nice disciple. disciple. If, if possible, possible Jayananda's picture, picture should be hung in the rough cart of Lord Jagannath and in all of our temples. Other advanced God brothers have said that Jayananda proved himself 
to be a most responsible and selfless person. You could never detect even the most subtle type of wish to satisfy his own personal needs. He had that very unique attribute. Whatever needed to be done, he would do. Back in 1967, Jayananda gave Prabhupada his life savings of $5,000 in order to help print the first edition of Bhagavad Gita as it is. And then again with his last letter to Prabhupada, Jayananda enclosed the second gift of $5,000, money that had been earmarked for his medical expenses. Jayananda was so anxious to serve Prabhupada that he even gave up the desire to go back to the spiritual world. He said, When I leave my body, I want very much to come back in order to continue serving Prabhupada in this world. Once Jayananda was asked, How do you become happy? Jayananda innocently replied, I don't know. I'm too busy to think about it. Jayananda was always blissful and active, working tirelessly, and he inspired others to do the same. The last festival Jayananda was able to work on directly was the New York City Ratayatra in 1976. Attended by Srila Prabhupada himself, it was the very first Ratayatra in New York and it went down the famous Fifth Avenue. Jayananda called it the most successful of all festivals he had worked on. In a letter to Jayananda, shortly after his passing, Prabhupada wrote, As you were hearing Krishna Kirtan, I am sure that you were directly promoted to Krishna Loka. So Krishna has done a great favor to you not to continue your diseased body, and he has given you a suitable place for your service. Srila Prabhupada thus requested devotees all over the world to commemorate Jayananda Prabhu's passing and they should do it every year just as they would that of any great devotee of Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. All glories to Srila Jayananda Prabhu.